In this problem, we're told to find an equation of the tangent to the curve at the given point. And so right here, we're given two different, or we're given parametric equations, and we're given this point here, 0, 3. And what we're going to want to do is find the equation of the tangent to the curve. So how do we go about doing this? So the first thing that we want to do, right, is we want to find dy dx, because that's going to allow us to solve for the slope. So what is dy dx equal? Well, we know it's equal to dy over dt, or dy dt over dx dt. So essentially the derivative of our y function, or this y, and then the derivative of our x. So that's the first thing we want to do. So let's go ahead and do that first. So dy, or let's start with dx dt actually. So dx dt, the derivative of t squared is 2t. The derivative of t is just 1. So 2t minus 1 is dx dt. Uh, let's do dy dt now. Derivative of t squared, that's going to go ahead and be 2t. Uh, derivative of t is just 1. And then the derivative the derivative of 1 is just 0. So it's just going to be 2t plus 1. So that's dy dt. We have dx dt. Now what we can do is plug them in. So dy dx equals dy dt, which is 2t plus 1, all over 2t minus 1. Cool. So from the last few problems, what you know next to do is we're trying to find the slope, m essentially. And we can do this by plugging in the t value. But we're not given a t value in this problem, we're given a point. So how do we find which t value to plug in to know uh, the m we're trying to find, or to find the m? The way we do that is by looking at one of these points, and you can choose either one, and you're just going to set it equal to our equation, and we can solve for t from that, right? Because we know it's going to be equal to 0, x is, or x is going to be 0 when t is whatever, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So you can choose either one. I'm going to choose this one because it's easier. So just plug in 0 for x. So 0 is going to be equal to t squared minus t. And what you should tell is it's just going to be 0 because 0 minus 0 is 0, right? So essentially it's going to be 0. Uh, yeah, so, or I apologize, sorry, it's not 0, uh, right? Because it, it's two different values, but keep in mind what our range is. So if, I, if we factor out a t here, it's going to be t times t minus 1, right? Because t, t squared, t minus 1. So notice that it's going to be 1 not 0 because 0 isn't in our range. It doesn't include 0, so we can't use it. So it's going to be 1. Sorry about that. But yeah, so it's going to be 1. If we plug in 1, you notice it becomes 0. But yeah, so essentially t is going to be equal to 1. And you can see it in this one too, right? Because if we plug in 0 for this, and then we assumed it was 0, which it isn't, it wouldn't work out. So it has to be 1. Yeah, so you got to check both equations just to make sure. So check both equations, and then you'll get the same value if one of them has more than one solution. But yeah, I would just make sure you check both. But essentially, t is going to be equal to 1, right? Because 1, 1, and 1 are going to add up to 3, which is our y, and then 1 minus 1 is 0, right? So it wasn't because of the range. It was because uh, it didn't fit into the y. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so just make sure you check both equations. That's my mistake. But we know t is going to be equal to my, or 1. So t equals 1, if that's the case, we can plug it in to find the slope. So 2 times 1 is 2. I'll just write it out, actually. 2 times 1 plus 1 over 2 times 1 minus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is um, 1. Right, so it's going to be equal to 3. This is our slope, m. So now we've got m, and in the other problems, you'd have to plug in, uh, or when we solve this, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. You'd have to plug in the t value for these, or plug it into the equations to solve for y1 and x1. But these, they're a bit easier because they give us a point. So all we have to do really is just plug it in. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just plug in our points, right? Because 0 is going to be x1, and then this is going to be y1. So plugging it in, y minus y1, which is 3, is equal to m, which is 3, the slope, x minus x1, which is 0. So x minus 0 is x, so it's just 3x on this side, and then add 3 to both sides. So you're going to get y equals 3x plus 3. But yeah, so y equals 3x plus 3, that's going to be uh, the equation of the line tangent to the curve. But yeah, so the only thing that differed in this problem was the t value, right? Because they give you a point instead of t this time, so just make sure you plug it in to be able to solve for the t, so you can actually find your slope. But yeah, so 3x plus 3 is your answer, and hopefully you found this uh, useful.